quick workout brief. Like I mentioned earlier on the Monday's workout brief, if you have football training, please don't complete the conditioning program this week. Just stick with the skills program. There's likely that you're going to have some sort of fitness test, uh, but also it's just uh, your first session getting into um, training with a group. So it's going to be different on the body. We want to make sure we absorb that load and give ourselves the best chance to be able to handle this change in routine and change in load without getting some um, niggles down the line. So by going in fresh, um, you're giving yourself your best chance to hit the ground running and, and make sure you perform well as well in front of the coaches and your teammates and, and uh, yeah, get some good preparation in with the group. So focus on that and um, have, if you have any questions around how to manage that, make sure to reach out. But you want to do your gym work ideally after the footy session. If you can't do that, then just before. Uh, and if you can't do that, then potentially the next day or morning of the, the session. Go into our warm up. So we've got some progressive strides after our general minute of two minute uh, jog, four minute mobility, then four efforts here, two at 55% of max velocity, two at 65% max velocity with a walk back recovery. And we've got some aerobic tempo work. So 60, uh, sorry, aerobic, so 30 seconds. And the target for this person is 150 meters. So it should be relatively easy, feel good sort of pace, six efforts there. Then we've got your 40 second efforts with 200 meters is our target. And then we've got two 300 meter targets at 60 seconds. So it should be pretty comfortable, uh, good rest periods throughout one to one where we're working, the amount of work that you do, we're resting the same amount. So you should be able to have uh, good consistency across every rep on the repeat, on the aerobic top up. Then we've got two sets for our repeat speed running. So we've got our 10 second efforts and then our 20 second efforts. Um, really important that every rep you focus on your first three steps, start the set strong. All right, first three steps, use your arms, get that momentum going and then maintain good rhythm all the way through the rep. So we've got six 60s and then we have six 110 meter efforts. Then our zone six, which is our max velocity work. Um, really important that we get exposure to this high speed effort at least once a week. Sometimes you'll have it two times in your program. Um, and we've got our short high intensity work this week. So two to four, your choice of 20 meter efforts. Uh, sorry, two, two sets of four 20 meter efforts. So you're going to have two at 80 to 85%, and then you'll have two at 85 to 90% of peak speed. So four reps in total really start the uh, acceleration strong on those 20 meter efforts. Then we've got the grid agility. So making a square, four by four meter square, and we're mixing it up between uh, lateral uh, movement, um, shuttle run, um, like you do with the beep test where you change direction the way you're facing. So mix it up as best you can. If you are training with a partner, get them to point in the different directions that you're trying to hit. Um, and it's almost like a 15 seconds, 15 seconds uh, to get those four different efforts in. So we've got two sets of four there. Um, focus on your body position. So make sure you're leaning to the um, position that you want to hit next and you're swiveling the head as well. So wherever you look, the hips, shoulders and feet will follow. All right. So make sure we swivel that head to the next position that you want to go to. And that's Wednesday session. Good luck, guys. Make sure to get a good session out. And if you have any questions, hit us up on the app.